Hi Amanda, how are you? Hi, I'm good. That's nice good. to see you here. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, tell us a bit about yourself. I'm a businesswoman, back in Philippines and here. And I'm a single mom with two kids, grown up, and a mother and father. Okay. Um, so, you mentioned that you're originally from the Philippines, but where in the Philippines are you? Okay, I was from? born in Bicol. Okay. I'm a Bicolana from where is the beauty queen is. Yes. <laughs> and I was a teenager when I went to Manila, start my finding my life there. That was only 14. Yeah. Ran away from home. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, I went to Manila at that age and started to find a life there. And I know, I think by that time I know already that I'm going to into business mm -hmm. because when I started college, that was office work. Mm -hmm. When the boss asked me something, I said, oh, this is not for me. Oh, okay. so but I know already when I was studying, asking my, prof my, my teacher, my classmate, oh, you want to buy lipstick? You want to buy, you know, the okay. Avon thing like that? Yes. Yeah, so I was doing that. So you've always been an entrepreneur huh? yeah. since you were yeah. younger. Mm. Yes. So um, what was your profession before owning a salon? It's really funny because when I started in Pasig City, I'm in Pasig City yeah. area, okay. They have this project there to like, it's like a free study mm -hmm. with a hairdressing and then I started yeah. Billy me, they only teach me for using the scissors in comb and right mm -hmm. away I, we went to do the haircut it's called lean up it's free haircut yes. and then I enjoy it I said oh this is really nice but again it's still I don't know whatever where I'm going yeah. so yeah and then I said I'm going to have my own business a little salon so it's just mm -hmm. like a garage so I did that and then it's fun because 11 p.m. I still have client and like I said just now it's just really funny because you know you're from your ex abroad and then people like muddy feet and then you're going to clean it manicure pedicure and they're really awkward I said no come on as long as there's a money on there I'm going to clean it uh, so uh, how and when you start your hair salon here in New Zealand it's already in my mind that I want to find a business here but then when I came here five years ago, my money shrank like that. It's really small. I said, oh, that is how expensive the business in, in, in here. So, okay. So what I need to do, I was doing like working in a different company, getting some ideas. And I don't know the barbering really, mm -hmm. because you know, right in Philippines, if you're a woman, you're just gonna do woman's side. Yeah. But here is no choice when you are working, you're gonna apply a job. You should know how to do the men's haircut. So I tried funny interview asked me to do the trial I just pretend that I know how to do the haircut then they accept me then from there I start my job and then I said okay I need to improve myself then I quit my job I apply in a barbershop that's where or I met all this like oh, yeah. famous so, people oh, yeah, that's right. yeah. Um, um, before we go to the famous clients uh, that you just mentioned um, why is the name of your business um, uh, cut the uncut. I think a few weeks I'm doing brainstorming. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to find something named that is not going to specialize for women side only, like really feminine name. So I said, hmm. And then I came up asking my worker in Philippines, she also a hairdresser there. I said, could you please help me to find a name that there is no like similar name? Yeah, she helped me. She said, okay, let's use how about cut the uncut. But it's really nice because cut something that I have not even cut yet, yeah. you know. So that is how we come up on that name. But the D at the middle, that is a little bit unique. Yeah. So what uh, challenges have you faced on business here in New Zealand? Oh, God. God, seriously. Uh, I already struggle a lot. Mm -hmm. First thing. I admit that this is my second language. This is not my first language. I'm not really good in English, you know. My five years ago here, I tell you, I always have migraine talking to Kiwi people because of the accent. and I'm having difficulty to understand. So now, um, go back to that. It's employing people because that's the more you have employee, the more it's gonna be really uh, how to say staff because. Owning a business here in New Zealand, you should know really the employer's law yes. because if not, <laughs> <laughs> really 
So um, more on the employees and yeah, I think that's my struggle. But dealing with the clients is really a love it. Mm. It's just really satisfying feeling. It's just only I think dealing with all the paperwork, especially okay. paperwork, that's really give me a headache. I have my accountant, but it's still you know doing the reading, giving me all the documents and reading for that. Oh no, I don't. I hate that. I don't mind to work on the floor twenty four hours, but don't let me put the papers and going to read it. Yeah, I hate that. <laughs> challenge yeah so you mentioned earlier that you have you had um, famous clients so have you had any famous clients um, yeah. uh, that is when I was working in a city before working with other companies it was really nice feeling this guy came in the shop and the people passing by like like you know hi to him and then come inside and talk to him so I couldn't finish the haircut. I just have the feeling that I said, hmm, must be this guy is famous. Mm. But the apprentice is just looking at me, probably trying to tell me, hey, that's a very famous guy. Mm. So he just carry on doing the haircut, but he just like only have to do the beard, yeah. small hair, like, like having a shape. And then I said, I asked him, I said, can we have a picture? Oh, sure, sure. And they put yeah. his hands like that. And then he left. Mm. And then my apprentice asked me, Amanda, do you know? Do you know that guy? I said, it seems like he is famous. And then he picked up the magazine. I said, oh my gosh! And then I posted it on my Facebook oh, yeah. because, of course, I'm proud. And then another one. It's a really, good experience. <laughs> it, yeah, it's really make me feel proud because, like I said, I started my barbering here, and then plus, now it's a bonus that I'm getting this famous people, right? Yeah. So what sets you apart from other hair salons here in New Zealand? I'm beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course. Um, seriously, I don't know, but for me, I always put my myself, my passion, my heart of what I'm doing. Yeah. I don't mind, I don't have food in one day, I don't have break, I don't mind. Mm -hmm. Because I feel inside that it's a really satisfying feeling. Mm -hmm. So I think it's more on about heart and passion mm. and focus on what I'm doing yes. to the client, giving them satisfaction, something like that kind of feeling. Yeah. And I noticed in um, Google reviews that you've got five stars for everything. I think you've got 37 reviews and all of them are five stars. You didn't even have four stars. So that's mm. really commendable. Yeah. So you must be doing something right. Yeah. And amazing because all I can remember the conversation with the client mm -hmm. and then it going to be in the in the reviews, uh, she can even also give you a good advice yeah. what a product can use. Mm -hmm. So you've got those um heartwarming conversations mm -hmm. with the customers, mm -hmm. with the clients and mm -hmm. they remember you. They remember me, me. I friendly, always yeah. <laughs> giving pieces of advice. Yeah. So that's good. Yeah. So, um, what's your future dream and plan for your business? From the very beginning, I think I spoke one of the Filipino that always help people also here, especially all the student about like student trafficking like that. Because I'm also, you know, I'm one a little bit of against with that because I couldn't say that I'm a victim of that because I'm thankful that I'm already going to be citizen soon. Mm -hmm. But in a way of like taking advantage go Filipinos just to make money. So I really want to multiply this business. I want to grow this business. It's not being because of I want to focus on because we're co-Filipinos, mm -hmm. but because I know there's a lot of people struggling to get a working visa. Mm -hmm. But now it's keep on changing the law, so I don't know. But my heart and my mind, it's just when I help people to give, maybe in the future a few months more, I really can be able to support a working visa to anyone that can help me here. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's because I know the feeling, you know, that you don't have visa and you're here, you don't know what's going to happen to you and you're working, something like that. So I think that is one of my biggest goal mm -hmm. that I want to help, mm -hmm. you know, people. People, I don't want to. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but you know what I mean, right? Yes. Well, I'm hoping that it couldn't be the same what is on my mind because what I've done in the Philippines, mm -hmm. it was uh, started 11 years ago. This is a bakery and a dairy shop. Mm -hmm. And then I staple it first. And then I leave it to my sister, help other people. And they're making there. Of course, I'm making, still I'm making there yes. because I'm the founder, you know. Yeah. So that is what I'm thinking here also. I'm going to 
make this thing stable and then I'm going to step out, not step out, I mean I'll just manage, come and visit. I want to have my life. I'm yes. already, I'm already, I don't know how old I am. <laughs> now. So I want to travel. Secret. Yeah, I want to travel. I want to find my love. Yes. My half. <laughs> OMG. So um, any message to your supporters here in New Zealand? To all my clients that's already been here, and I know you love the quality of my job and my jokes. Sometimes it's corny. Uh, thank you so much. Mga kababayan, punta lang kayo sa akin, and I will give you the best haircut ever. Plus joke. Yeah, thank you sa mga magiging support nyo, and hopefully it happen yung goal ko na makatulong sa mga people. Especially yung mga ano natin na nangangailangan someday, yeah. And maybe you will see me someday in the camera again telling you that, hey, it happened. You made it. Yeah. <laughs>